Hello everyone, welcome back to my stock channel. Now in this tutorial we are going to see the next listener which is a key listener which is the interface. So regarding this, now here it is a key listener then obviously the event will be a key event. That means we are going to pass the parameter keyword and going to implement the key listener whenever we are going to have an event handling regarding the keyboard's keys. Okay, now here if you see the method, there are three methods. Here what's the rule exactly in this listener? Now here you have to override these three all the method compulsory as key type, pressed and release. These all the methods should be override compulsory. Just let me tell you why because even if you wanted to use the one method of this release then two you have to override this remaining two having an empty body as you have seen in the uh, abstract class where there are the abstract methods don't have a body even though if you are not using we have to compulsory override all the methods so regarding the same here if you see the key listener has a three methods key type where you have to pass a parameter key event e then the key pressed and key release means as per the functionality whenever you are going to type a character then key typed will be invoke whenever the uh, key is pressed so this will be key pressed and whenever you are going to release the key so the key release method will be invoked so this was related to a key listener now next we will see the next interface which is the mouse listener so which i have took is a mouse listener as we are seeing the key listener mouse listener will be regarding the same whenever you are going to apply or have the event handle regarding the mouse that means whenever you are going to enter the mouse arrow towards the component whether you are exiting whether you are pressing the button of a mouse so regarding Regarding the same, if you see here the methods are there, here total 5 methods are there of a mouse listener. As I told in a key listener, if one if you wanted to use one or two methods, you have to override all the methods which come under this. Now here if you see the method, here are 5 methods. Even if you wanted to use, suppose this both to first and don't want it to use this, then too you have to override this, you have to mention this methods in a, a empty curly classes. So here the method as it is, we have seen the constants regarding the same here will be the method that the mouse press, whenever the mouse is pressed, then whenever the mouse is clicked, then at that time then the mouse is released. So these all the contents regarding this event, we have to mention in the curly classes. Then the mouse entered whenever the mouse arrow entered in the component on which you are going to have an event handling then the mouse exited whenever the mouse arrow comes out of a component and here obviously you have to pass the mouse event class those so for doing the event handling i will tell the again steps what exactly will be the step first will be first we have to implement this interface before that we have to import the packet that is java.awt.event.asterisk then you have to implement this interfaces then you have to register the component on what exactly we are going to apply a event handle and then we have to override all the methods of these listeners having this parameter that is a event class so this was regarding the mouse listener and the key listener so regarding the same if you have any kind of question you can mention in the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video